What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do a horror cinematic effect in Sony Vegas. Now if you head over to the description or go to videoblocks.com slash YouTube, you can get started with an exclusive offer. You are able to get a 7 day free trial, you can download 140 pieces of content, you can also sign up for their annual plan which is $150 for unlimited access to their library. Now a big plus about this, all memberships come with 100% royalty free agreement. This means even if you cancel your membership, your agreement is still valid and you can use your downloaded content for commercial use forever. More information on video blocks will be told at the end of the video. So the videos I am going to be using are actually downloaded from video blocks as well. So we have the blossoms right here. We then have the MetLife and the Chrysler building. We then have the Statue of Liberty and finally the Eagle up close in slow motion. Now the one thing you need to do when you insert your videos is right click, select properties and disable resample. You'll know I usually tell you to uncheck maintain aspect ratio, however in this case you're not going to be doing it because we need to add black bars. So from there select OK and just do this to the rest of your videos you are using. Okay, that is done. So the next thing we're going to do is add the black bars. So come to the event pan and crop here. This is what you're going to be presented with. Make sure you're right at the start on position and then make sure size about center is checked. Just that one and then come from the bottom and just drag up. As you can see, we are slowly going to be getting black bars. Now it's completely up to you how uh, thick you want these bars to be. But you'll notice when I showed you I created a sort of an animation. So I started it off like this and you can do the same as well if you would like. And then we can come across to maybe two seconds and then we zoom in a bit so we can get a hold of it and just drag it out like this. And just like that we've created that start of the animation so you'll see it's going to be like that. And then of course here we can just add a fade. So come back to the event pan and crop on the video we just did in the black bars and come to where the black bar is. Just right click it, select copy, come over to the next track, make sure you're at the start on position, right click and paste. And you can do the same for the others as well. So copy the video, paste, paste. Now what this means, only this one is going to have the uh, little thing where it comes sliding out and then the rest of them are just going to have black bars throughout just like that. Anyway, getting onto the effects, we need to head over to video effects. If you do not see video effects here, then you can simply come to view windows layout and select default layout. Now the first thing I'm going to be adding is color curves. So come down to color curves, come down and look for night. So we're going to be working with the first clip here and then we'll paste everything over onto the other clips. So we're going to drag and drop on night and this is what you're going to get as you can see it gives us a sort of a scary effect already. But what I'm going to be doing is dragging up the green a touch. I'm also going to be going to the blue, the red, the red I mean, and dragging that up a touch just like that. And actually I'm also going to be dragging up the blue. So there we go. That's what I want. It gives it more of a blue and a cold feel to the video. Now this is done. And if you come over to preset, you can come here and call this horror press the save preset button and now you can X out to this. If you come back to video effects and color curves, you can come down as you'll see it'll be horror. So you don't have to remember all the settings I've just shown you, you can just drag and drop this on. The next thing we're going to do is head over to color balance. Now for this one, we're actually going to be adding red midtone. So just drag it and drop it. Now it's not going to be too heavy as you can see, that is a very heavy red. So we're actually going to type this in manually and I recommend 0.050 like that so as you can see it gives us a bit of a red tone to it and again where it says preset you can come here call this horror save the button and come down as you can see horror is there now one last thing we need to add is soft contrast so come down until you see soft contrast here it is and we're going to add on warm vignette so just drag and drop now this is what you're going to get when you first start off 
and of course you can change these settings if you want to for example the stretch completely up to you but as you can see the stretch uh, makes it go lighter so maybe around there the contrast of course completely up to you how you want that as well again I'll probably just leave it uh, where it was the fusion you can leave the same the tint you can add a tint so uh, maybe a cold blue or red there we go more of a blue there I kept the tint the same and now we head over to Vignette. Now this part, as you can see, it says exterior effect. And it's this part right here, you're seeing the black fades on the side. If you select it, you can change it to a blur. Now a blur also gives a cinematic scary effect as well. But, of course, you can use black. For white, um, that's what it's going to look like. Not really the best for this. And then transparent. So, I would say stick with black or blur for this. Um, completely up to you really, I really don't know which one you should pick, uh, it probably depends on the type of video you have. So if you come down, you can change your softness, as you can see, you really want to keep it just above 35, because if you go too far out, it's just a straight square, and of course you don't want that. The height, corner radius, X, Y position, I would just leave the same, and again you can come up to preset and you can change this to horror. Then you can come here and select the save and X out of it and as you can see horror will be saved right here so you won't have to remember all of them settings again. Now we've done that but these videos are still the same. Now a very quick way instead of going to drag each of them one by one just right click the first video select copy and now you can come here and paste. Paste and paste. Now one thing that has happened here you'll notice we have the black bars a bit messed up again. So we just come back to the event panel crop and come to the start and delete it. And then just drag this keyframe to the beginning. Now that does happen because we did copy and paste it, but it's very easy to fix as you can see. And it's much more quicker doing it this way than having to drag on each effect one by one onto each video. And there we go, that is done. And now um, we just need to add some fades which makes it look more cinematic so I'm gonna press S on my keyboard to delete the remaining of this um this by default as you'll see it's pretty fast so I want to slow that down I'm gonna to come to the end and hold control and drag it out there we go just like that I'm gonna make this go up to 10 seconds S on my keyboard delete the remaining same for the Statue of Liberty you'll see it's actually really fast for a horror effect anyway so I'm gonna slow this down again holding control and then I'm just going to drag it over the video so it creates a fade transition right there. And then this one's going to be up to 15 seconds as you can see. S on my keyboard, delete the remaining. And the final video, this one's already in slow motion, pretty good slow motion as well. So we can just leave this the same and make it go to 20 seconds. Now one last thing we are missing, which is probably to me the most important thing when you are creating a horror effect. And that is of course the music. The music really sets the scene, it sets the mood from the get-go. So you really need to spend some time on some good music if you are planning to do a horror scene. So for this one, I, I'm using this music. It's not actually up for YouTube, it's off Epic Media, Epic Sound or something like that. So I'm using this. Yeah, I think I'll just start it from here. I'm gonna add a fade in, I'm gonna come to the end. S, delete the remaining and then add some fade out for the music and a fade out for the last video and let's play it through. And just like that we have created a horror effect uh, the music was very well put together I believe for this type of video and basically with the type of feel I've created is that the world is deserted, there's nothing much left apart from nature. So it's kind of telling a story. So at the start we get the uh, flowers, in the middle we get some buildings, the Statue of Liberty, no humans around of course, 
and then the bird at the end, or the eagle. But anyway, that is how you create a horror environment in Sony Vegas. As you can tell, it is very simple. And a big shout out to Video Blocks because, of course, without them, we wouldn't have created such a good effect because the footage was from there. More information on Video Blocks it actually has the largest unlimited download library of stock video. After Effects and motion backgrounds on the web with over 10 million dollars in content. Videoblocks has over 2 million stock videos, After Effects and motion backgrounds. With Videoblocks membership you can get access to over 2 million clips for 40% off per clip compared to competitive sites and over 100,000 free clips included with your membership as well. Now this is because Videoblocks takes 0% commission on its sales passing all savings on to its members. In the month of September, Video Blocks is releasing a new authentic collection including over 2,000 new videos. Stock videos can look very fake, forced and artificial, and Video Blocks is challenging that with this collection which features real people in real videos. You'll get access to these as well with your 7 day Video Blocks trial. So definitely be sure to go ahead and check out video blocks. It's going to be very useful to a ton of people and free footage, of course, of just being able to create a tutorial with free copyright footage, which was very useful for me. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this tutorial has helped you. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.